that stupid thing. Stupid bulls. Supposed to be a long life, then. <laughs> what you feeling? Is a barrel of a 44 Magnum. The most powerful handgun in the world. What you have to ask yourself is how many shots has he fired? Five or six? Tell you the truth, I don't remember myself. <laughs> do you want to take a chance, punk? Do you feel lucky, you bum? Well, do you? Pillock! Evening, brothers. <laughs> I'm back, you missed me. No. Well, that was a very stupid thing you did then. You're very lucky you're not lying face down on the floor with a broken neck. Wah, wah. <laughs> Where do you get that from? I found it on Beach Bernard. Some kid must have left it. It's not real. Yeah, well, get rid of it, will you? You're supposed to be a security officer in a shopping precinct, not dirty, Harry. <laughs> hey, Bernard. I'm going to tell you something. I nearly didn't come back, you know. Oh, no. Oh, no. I could have quite happily stayed there, me. Roaming the beach in my thong. Soaking up the sun. Hey, tell you what, there must be some bulk somewhere here. It were best holiday I've had in years, that. Yeah, where do you get to in the end, then? Where were it? Spain, New York, huh? Neither. Do you know I waited for one of them cheap flights? Well, at last minute, I thought to myself, stuff it. <laughs> Why bother with Spain and Mallorca? Everybody goes to Spain and Mallorca. Thought, not me, not this year. I'm really going to spend my money. I thought, for me, this year, I'm going to get holiday with a bit of romance, danger, a bit of adventure. Yeah. Where do you get to, then? Scarborough. <laughs> Scarborough? <laughs> Brilliant. I thought you were going to tell me you'd been to the Far East, up the Himalayas. How can you have danger, romance, adventure in Scarborough? Stay in the same place, Addy. You get all three in one mattress, you know. <laughs> I see you got them cameras working again, then, Bernard. Yeah, Tyrone fixed them. Oh, hi, Tyrone. Who's he, then? He was the chap they sent uh, to replace you. Six foot four. Oh, hi. Yeah. Six foot four, eh? Bodybuilder. Rippling pectorials. Biceps, like. Beach balls. <laughs> I bet his veins stuck out like giant worms crawling up his arms. Huh? I might tell you, we had this place running like clockwork. We made a very good team, we did, I'll tell you. Good team. I'll be fortune told in Scarborough. In fact, when I think about it, you were good. In fact, you were very good. I had three and a half quid with the Glen of the Gypsy. <laughs> <laughs> what an interesting fella he was as well. We got on really well. I was amazed how accurate she was. Who? Glenda the Gypsy. What'd she say? She said I'd meet a miserable old sod who'd give me the ump. <laughs> now shut up about Tyrone. <laughs> hey! Oh, sorry. Watch it. Anything been happening then, Bernard? No. Oh, come on. You're the eyes and ears of the precinct, Bernard. Something must have happened. No. No crime, no violence. Perfect. It would have even been more perfect if we could have got rid of the shoppers. Get rid of the shoppers? Mm. How can you get rid of the shoppers in a shopping precinct? That like saying if you got rid of the words, you could enjoy a Geoffrey Archie novel. <laughs> You've only got to look at them purpose to see what they're like. Dashing here, dashing there, furrowed brows, screaming kids. That's the trouble with you, Bernard. You don't like people. Yeah. If you had your way, you'd be out there pulling all the paving slabs up and putting landmines down. <laughs> then you'd be up here, then, stuck behind three tonne of sandbags. With a bazooka trained on the instant photo booth. <laughs> Where's the tea gone? It's in the jar, Mark. Tea. <laughs> what the hell is it doing in there? It should be in the biscuit tin. <laughs> Tyrone's cleaned up. It's more logical now. Bloody Tyrone. Getting on my nerves, it is, I'll tell you that now. <laughs> All right. What's 
the sugar gone? It's in the jar marked sugar. I don't believe this. It should be in the jar marked coffee. Well, it's not. It's in the jar marked sugar. All right? Tyrant's tied it up. You mean he's cocked it up? I can't find anything now. I preferred him when he was corn on the Barbarian, not Murray Poppins. <laughs> Hey, Bernard, there's a fella here who reckons his mother-in-law's an alien. He's not alone. <laughs> By date, it says, Mrs. Ada Chesborough, 54, works on the cold meats counter at Tesco. But by night, she stalks the streets, flashing messages to other aliens with a red lamp. <laughs> they walk the streets round here with a red lamp. They don't call you an alien. <laughs> what are you reading? What are you reading that rubbish for? Because it's very interesting. It's a load of cobblers, aliens. Hang on, this is true. Of course it isn't. It's in the paper. <laughs> they can't print anything in the paper that isn't true. They make it up. Come on. Well, that's all you know, isn't it, Mr. Noel? It's in the paper. They can't print anything that isn't true in the paper because it's against the law. Oh, yeah? What law? I don't know. The paper law. <laughs> There's no such thing. That lot make it all up. Now, come on. Just the same, Bernard. I think we should keep an open mind here. You never know what's walking about out there. You've been reading too many comics, you like that. Come on. Have you seen the film, The Blob? That were a lot of rubbish, too. I'll tell you. Bernard, what? You reckon there's life up there? <laughs> up there? Above the sky, up in the universe? No. So what you... S Sorry. <laughs> so you reckon there's nobody like us anywhere in the immenseness of it all? Nobody like you, no. <laughs> no. What about... Bernard? There must be some life somewhere. Well, they've been searching long enough. They haven't found anything yet. Perhaps they're searching in the wrong place, pointing them stethoscopes to the wrong piece of sky. <laughs> The sky, they scan the galaxy. Yeah, well, they might not be powerful enough. They can only just see the planets. How do you expect to see the people on the planets? They've developed some very sophisticated equipment now to search. Oh, you know a bit about this, dear Bernard. Yes, I do, actually, Purvis. I read all the journals. I keep up with the times. I, I haven't missed sky at night for 15 years. <laughs> well, if they don't just look, what do they do, then? Ah, oh, forget it, Purvis. It's too technical. You wouldn't understand. No, I thought I wouldn't. Why don't you just try me, though, Bernard? Well, they use radio stethoscopes to beam <laughs> signals into the universe. To just to see what they can get back. Radio? Yeah. Well, that shows how stupid the scientists are, don't it? What do you mean? Well, if there's any intelligent life up there, I'm bloody sure they don't want to listen to Derek Jameson. <laughs> Why do I have to listen to this endless drivel? Night after night after night. Tyrone wasn't like this. Oh, no, I'm sure the incredible look had a lot of interesting things to say. <laughs> One grunt for yes, two grunts for no. <laughs> he wasn't tall, Braun. And besides being twice the man you are, he also had a brain. All oh, right. Fetch your microscope in and look at it, did you, Bernard? Then? <laughs> for your information, Tyrone was neat, tidy. Courteous, well-dressed, and arrived on time. He did his rounds properly, kept his paperwork up to date, cleaned up in the kitchen after him, and he also made a great cup of tea. <laughs> I bet he picked his nose. <laughs> he did not. Well, we had some very interesting discussions. Since when have you been interested in talking, Bernard? When we're here, all you want to do is stick your nose in a book. Well, you never have nothing to say, do you? All you talk about all nights, aliens. Well, what did you talk about, then? What didn't we talk about? Our discussions roamed over the old gamut of human experience. <laughs> what would King Kong know about human experience? <laughs> Talked about life, death. I bet he were good on death. <laughs> ah, literature, price of houses. You never talked to me about them things, Bernard. No, that's true. Be a waste of time, were you? I don't think it would, because I can talk. Oh, yeah? Oh, yes, I can talk, me. When I get going, I'm a very good conversationist. Conversationalist. <laughs> All right, then. Go on. What? Converse. 
No, I will. What about? Well, life, death, art, literature, prize of houses. Right. Ahem. Price of houses aren't going up like they used to, are they? No. <laughs> it must be very difficult for first-time buyers. I mean, the mortgages aren't cheap today, are they, Bernard? Very difficult. Piddle down last night. <laughs> Answer the door. Piddle. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Who is it? What's that? It's a Black Forest Gatto. What do you think it is? <laughs> I didn't think we were using shooters. Where do you get it? Never mind where I got it. I got it. Keep them covered. Don't be long. I'll be as long as it takes. And remember, watch him. From what I've heard, he's dangerous. Ah. <laughs> dangerous? Who have you been talking to? <laughs> Villains know not to mess around with me. Word gets around. Yeah, well, it's got to the wrong people, hasn't it? He's got a gun him. Shut up, you two. You won't get away with this. Shut up, Bernard. You'll get away with it. You'll get away with it. I think you'll get away with it. Shut up. <laughs> what are we going to do now, Bernard? Stay calm. Play it by the book. Yeah, play it by the book. I haven't read the bloody book. <laughs> Keep him talking. Hang on, Bernard. You get six quid a week more than me. You <laughs> keep him talking. You're supposed to be the great conversationalist. Yeah, well. What did you say? Nothing. I didn't say anything. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> well, that's brilliant. That is Purvis. That really kept him talking, that did. Jeez. What was I supposed to say? You're useless, you are. I just wish Tyrone was sat where you're sat now, that's all. Mm, so do I. So do I. <laughs> You two, over there. Come on. Put your hands flat on the table where I can see them. Hold hands. Are you sure? Have you not got any rope? I'd sooner be tied up. Shut up, you. I haven't said anything. I didn't say anything. What time is it, Bernard? Ten past one. Wish I were back in Scarborough. <laughs> This time last week, I was watching two men being fleeced by a one-armed bandit. <laughs> what a difference a week makes. <laughs> Getting nervous, are you, son? Shut it, Bernard. Shut it, shut it. <laughs> no matter where you run to, they'll find you. That's all you know, Columbo. What was that? I hope it's not your mate trying to pitch them long-life bulls because they're useless. <laughs> he knows what he's after. What's the matter with you? Sit still. I want to go. <laughs> you should have thought of that before. How the hell was I supposed to know we are going to be made of stitch? Grit your teeth. I'm down to me gums already. <laughs> well, you'll have to wait. I can't wait, Bernard. Ask him, can I go? You must be joking. That's a desperate man. He's not as desperate as I am. Excuse me, but how long are you going to keep us here? Just as long as it takes. An hour or two. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter with him? Well, he needs to go to the toilet. That's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> Tie a knot in it. I don't like him. <laughs> is it cold in here, is it me? You'll be all right, Perves. Bernard. Yeah. 
I have something to say. Yeah. <laughs> if we don't get out of this, I'm lying. I'm lying. <laughs> Bernard, if the worst comes to the worst, it won't. No, I know it won't. But if it does, which it won't, which it won't. But if it does, I just want to say that if ever I've, you know, it's all right. Bernard, listen to me. If ever I've upset you or anything, well, you know, I just want to say. It's all right. Forget it, Pervs. There's been times when I've been a bit of a, well, you know what I mean. You haven't, Bernard. I am. <laughs> Bernard. You haven't. Not me. <laughs> I know I have. No. You haven't, Bernard. Sometimes. Bernard. Never. <laughs> I have. Have you? <laughs> um, no. I don't suppose so. When? Uh, I haven't really. What did you do? Well, you were for your own good. What were for my own good, Bernard? Well, you weren't ready for it. <laughs> I wasn't ready for what, Bernard? <laughs> Promotion. Promotion! <laughs> What did you do? Well, I told them, didn't I? You weren't ready for it. I wasn't ready for it. No. You rotten sod. <laughs> well, it was for your own good. I'm quite capable of deciding what's right for me or good. Thank you very much, Bernard. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're Yes, I no, am. I'm not. You two don't shut up. I'll shut you up. I've had an idea, Bernard. What is it? Do you know when you were in the army? Yeah. In the jungle? Yeah. And you and your mate, Cyril, were surrounded by 25 marauding rebels with machetes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you wiped them out just like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only one of him. I know, but I'm sat down. It'd be different if I was stood up. <laughs> Why? Well, you'd see if I was stood up. Hey, you, stand up. <laughs> you weren't him. Not him, you. <laughs> Go on, Bernard. Go on. Come on, Bernard. <laughs> you got anything to drink around here? Yeah. It's in the kitchen. Go on, then. Come on, Bernard. <laughs> Somebody turn that water off, please! Put it on the table. Go on. <laughs> Your mate's probably got lost out there. He knows exactly what to get and where to go. Yes, I'm telling you, if you don't let me go, I will not be held responsible for this puddle down here. Mm, I tell you, I think he's run off and left you on your own. Shut up. Shut up. What's that? Uh, he's been out there a long time. Cut it out! I know what you're trying to do. Yeah, you're trying to make me think he's gone off with it all and left me here. You're trying to make me look stupid. Well, you and your incontinent monkey here. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. You might think you're tough with a gun in your hand, but this incontinent monkey here is twice the man you are. Thank you very much, Bernard. <laughs> is it possible to go to the toilet now? No! You'll be miles away from here by now. 
Shut up, down. shut up! Down. Calm down, son. Come on, come on. Put the bat down. That gun's no good to you either. You know where your mate got that, don't you? Eh? It's a toy. It's just a child's play thing. That's <laughs> it! <laughs> OK. Make my day, punk. <laughs> Police! Mr. Perfect, the Robocop. <laughs> We've had our eye on this one. Seven out of the last ten places that he was supposed to be guarding got turned over. Bernard, you've been... You cheat. <laughs> you've been infiltrated. Come on, I knew all along. You what? Uh, he didn't have me fooled. Of course he didn't. I think I'd better take that, sir. It's all right. It's only a toy, you know. It doesn't look like a toy to me, sir. <laughs> oh, hey, I was in the army, wasn't I? Special forces. I know the difference between a toy and the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, sir, I think I'd better take that. <laughs> Perfect. What? I thought that was the gun you found on the beach. This is mine. <laughs> you mean to tell me that when we jumped him, he had a real? OK, Charlie. <laughs> take him away. Come on, come on! Ah. <laughs> come on, Roy Rogers. I need you as well. I wonder. Bring Trigger with you. Hey, excuse me. How long are we going to be? Oh, could be all night. Well, now's your chance, Purvis. If you want to go. No, it's all right now, Bernard. Huh? Well, you, you told me you were bursting. I was. Till that gun went off. <laughs> <laughs> 